Hey guys, this is Marie, and I'm back with another video, and this video is going to be heaters and heating pads. So let's get started. So in this video, I will be showing you and talking to you about heaters for beta fish and heating pads for hermit crabs. So here we go. The first thing I'm going to talk about will be heating pads for hermit crabs. When bringing home your very first pet for the first time as a hermit crab, they should have a heating pad on your crab attack. Now the reason why is because hermit crabs are tropical pets and they need to have high humidity. The humidity should be between 75 and 85 inside their crab attack at all times. And the reason why is because they have gills and that's how they breathe. Now here is my heating pad. This is a trillium heater and it is the medium sized and it's 30 up to 40 gallons. And my tank is a 20 gallon long, so it's absolutely perfect for it. So if you have a 30 gallon tank or a 40 gallon tank, this will be the right size for your tank. Now I only have one heater on my tank, but if you have a bigger tank than mine, you could probably at least have two on yours. And you could put it on the front, on the sides, or in the back. It doesn't matter where you put it, it all depends on how you want to put it there. Now, if you have a 10-gallon tank, I would say you probably just need one heater. If you have a 20-gallon long tank, I would say just one. And if you have a higher than 20-gallon, I would say at least two of them. Most people that I've seen on YouTube on other videos, they usually have at least two heaters if their tank is bigger than 20-gallon longs. Now, I got my heater from... HermitCrabPatch.com and I had this one for about almost four to five years now and I haven't had no problems with it. It's been a excellent heater and I absolutely love it and so does my hermit crabs. They're always hanging around it even though it's summertime right now and it's between 75 and 80 here. It is still absolutely wonderful for them because they always be hanging around it. Now I keep my heating pad on at all times no matter what it is, if it's summer, winter, spring, or fall, this heater is always on all the time. And I never turn it off. So here is the back of it, and this is what it looks like. And then we're going to go inside of the tank, and then I'll show you what it looks like there. So here it is. So all it is is just a little sticky part right there, and you would just peel it off and then just stick it on to the glass. Now this is the same heater that I had on my 20 gallon tall tank. All I did was peel it off very slowly and then I just stuck it on to this tank. So this is what mine looks like. And mine touches all the way down to the bottom and then it stops between right there. So it covers pretty much almost the whole tank except this little area right here. So it's a perfect heater. Alright guys, so now we're going to move on to heaters for beta fish. So I will be back in a minute. Alright guys, I am back and now we're going to talk about heaters for your beta fish. Now bringing home your very first pet for the very first time as a beta fish, beta fish also need heaters in their tank because they are also tropical animals. Now they live in high um, heat too and that is between 78 and 80. Now here's my first heater. I have three different types of heaters. This is the very first one I have. And this one is a Akawan um, heater, I believe. And this one is a tall and skinny heater. And I'm going to try to get it on the side. So there it is right there. And I absolutely love this heater. I haven't had no issues with it. And the temperature is always set good inside of this tank at all times. I never turn off this heater at all, either in the summertime, the wintertime, the fall time, or the springtime. This heater is always on at all times. Now you just saw a little red light. When that little red light comes on, that means it is heating up the tank. When it turns off, that means the temperature is correct inside of the tank. So this is the very first heater that I have. Now I'm going to move on to the next heater. Alright guys, so here is my second heater. This one is in Jupiter's tank and this is a round and bulky um, heater and this is from Tetra. And this heater is a long one 
as you guys can see. And this one can you can put in inside of all the way inside of the tank inside of the water. So it always submerged inside of the tank and it keeps your water at the right temperature between 75 and 80. Mine is always at 80, so that's a perfect temperature for your beta fish. Now this one is a Tetra, and this one also has a light, but it's kind of hard to see because the castle is in front of it. But when the heater is heating up, it is on red, and when it's finished, it goes to green, and it stays on at all times. So this is the second heater. Now I'm going to move on to my, my last and final heater. Alright guys, so this is my last and final heater, and this is also an Aquan um, heater, but this is a short and skinny um, heater. And here is the side view of it, and this is what it looks like. So this one is a lot shorter and skinnier, but the other one is the same exact thing, but it's just skinny, uh, longer and skinnier. And this one's an absolutely awesome heater. I haven't had any issues with it. My temperature in my tank always stays between 80 and I haven't had no problems with it. The only thing about this heater, it does not have a light. So I never know when it's on or off and if it's heating up the tank or not. So that's the only thing about I don't like about this heater. The other two heaters I like because they both have lights on them. So I know when it's heating up the tank and when it's not heating up the tank. But this is a still good um a good heater for your tank if you're looking for this kind of type one so here is that one now if i had to choose out of all three of them i would probably say um this one would probably be my favorite one because this was my very first heater ever when i first had milo for the very first time and brought him home this was the very first heater i ever bought and I had it since then, and I haven't had no issues with it. So if I had to choose the very first heater, and absolutely favorite one would probably be this one. The next one, I would probably choose the other one in Lucky's tank. And then the third one, I would probably choose the one in Marty's tank. So these are my three heaters. Make sure when you guys are buying your first beta fish to have a heater inside of your tank. And make sure it's on at all times, no matter if it's the winter, the spring, the fall, or the summertime. Because beta fish are tropical fish and they need to have heat between 75 and 80. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!